Hey fam, happy five ingredient Friday from Life Inspired with Mo. So you guys, today we are gonna be talking about Mo's five tips to family summer meal prep. So mine is a little different. So let me make a quick disclaimer. You guys know I love to put a twist on things. So our meal prep, or I should say Mo's meal prep for the summer, it isn't necessarily meal prep for weight loss but most of the time you do end up losing weight simply because you're prepared ahead of time and you're not grabbing unhealthy snacks, going through drive throughs things like that, because this helps. I do this for me. It saves me time, money, and whew, it takes a lot of stress off of me for thinking during the week of what I'm gonna cook so that I don't have to put on myself during the week. Another thing you guys should know about me by now <laughs> is that I love for my food to have flavor, you know, great seasonings, things like that. So I don't do the um, ordinary meal prep like this. And I'm not saying that this is a bad way to meal prep. I'm, so this does work great for those who are probably trying to lose weight. Um, me, I like a variety of meals during the week. So this method could still work, but maybe you can just use some of my tips I'm using today to kind of incorporate in that weight loss meal planning. But like I said, this is strictly for Mo. So let's get started. Okay, fam, so one of the first things you want to do to start Mo's meal prep for the summer is you want to make a plan. Then next, number two, you wanna write out your grocery list and go shopping or order your groceries. But make sure that you have your proteins and your veggies up there. Those are the top two things that we'll be talking about today. So make sure that those two staples are on your grocery list. Number three is you want to prep and season your food. When we season our food as we're prepping it, if I were you, this just works for me. I create Moe's blend of seasonings, which is usually something like salt, pepper, garlic. Um, I either use fresh garlic or I'll use garlic powder. Um, depending on the meats that I'm cooking, I try to find a seasoning or a blend that I create. Number four, make sure you have plenty of airtight containers. And last but not least, number five is we're going to begin cooking those staple items. So you guys just choose what appliance you're gonna be using. Will you be using your crock pot, your stove top, your oven, or the grill? Okay, fam, so my two favorite I guess you can call it an appliance. Um, appliances to use for my summer cooking is definitely my grill and then most of the time my stove or oven, just depends. So for my grilling, you guys, the reason I love grilling, there's a larger surface space and some of you may have grills on your stove. But for me, my husband loves grill food in the summer and so do I. So we have I have half of the grill all vegan and the other half of the grill is for me, the carnivore. Yes, the kind of four. But anyway, um, so normally my staples are chicken and fish and beef. So this is why I cook so many different staples, or I should say proteins for the week. I absolutely love it. And here's why. When I make chicken and I have that grilled chicken, oh my gosh, you guys, it makes the most fabulous chicken salad. You taste this grill flavor as you're enjoying your chicken salad. So like for example, when I make chicken, I can get like three meals out of the chicken. I can get plain old grilled chicken, which I can later add some barbecue sauce to and have that as one of the um, main entrees for the meal. I can have chicken salad for lunch and then I can have just the plain old grilled chicken and have it in a sandwich. And with my fish, Oh my goodness, just good old grilled fish is just fine. And you actually can take that fish and make fish tacos later during the week. Then one little twist, I know you guys are gonna laugh, is I actually make meatballs on the grill. I put them um, in a basket so that that grill flavor can get into it. And I make meatball heroes or sub sandwiches during the week. And then I can use the rest for if I'm gonna make a pasta dish. 
and also beef. So depending on what type of beef that you're gonna cook on the grill, you can pull the beef and you can make tacos, you can make stir fry, you can just have the grilled beef itself. So this is why I cook so many proteins on the grill on the weekend, because that works best for me. And it makes my week for cooking easy peasy. Okay fam, so my other staple that I cook for the week is brown rice. <laughs> yes, my husband and I, probably eat our weight, <laughs> not really, in brown rice throughout the year. Okay, fam, pump the brakes. I know you're going, oh my gosh, Monique, that is a lot, prepping all that food, cooking all of that stuff on the grill, but that's what works for me. That may not work for you. You may decide, I'm only gonna do two or three items on the grill, but also some of you may be like my mom. I know growing up, what we used to do, or my mom, Thank goodness for such a great mom. She would have two crock pots or the crock pot in the oven. And what she would do is she would cook two larger meats. Meat. She would do like a large uh, beef, um, piece of beef, or she would do chicken. And she, but you have to do what works for you. But it's to help you save time and money and less stress. Even if you got your meats cooked and your larger staple um, proteins cooked for the week, Oh my gosh, you guys, it just takes so much time off of you and so much stress off of you um, and those things like that. Because throwing on some veggies or starches, those should be easy. Like you could do potatoes, you could do sweet potatoes in the oven. My grandma used to prepare sweet potatoes for the week. She would cook a batch of them. Then all you have to do is pull them out and heat them. You could put some butter and some cinnamon or whatever, or mash them up. And fam, here's one of my secrets. I get all of these staples done, but I don't necessarily complete um, making everything. No, I just grab them out of the refrigerator after putting them in the airtight container. And I just decide what I'm gonna make that night. I go, oh, tonight I'll pull the fish out and make fish tacos. I might do the same with the beef. It's already ready, so all I have to do is decide what I'm going to make that night. Now, but anyway, fam, this is just Mo's version of summer meal prep for family. All of these tips may not work for you. You have to tailor this and customize it to fit your schedule, um, your budget, and things like that. But I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to Life Inspired with Mo this week on our five ingredient Friday. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this time. I sure did. And I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye.